Hi and welcome. Today I want to show you something that I think is game changing, which is the Toby Eye Tracker 5. Now this does eye and head tracking. I do own Track IR5 and I also have BR, but for me this is the most suitable setup to help learn a plane. And it works in a number of games. It works in Tomb Raider, it works in Division 2, it works in IL-2 Stomovic, and it also works in this DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. Now, I'll show you how it works. We're going to jump into the cockpit, and we'll try and do a cold and dark start, but if you want to look around the screen, normally you would have to move your head. With this, you can just use your eyes. So, I'm not moving my head at the moment, and I'm just using my eyes. So, let's have a look. I'm going to look down the left panel. And I can look all the way back and I can see the OBOG switch. And then I can go back up to the center. And then I can look down on the right panel. And I can look all the way back and I can see everything down there that I want. All the way back. So I can move it around without even moving my head. Now say I want to move my head instead of my eyes. So I keep looking straight. And then I just look down to the left, moving my head. I can see down there. And then I can look down onto the right. And I can see down there. Now this works really well. And um, it's just game changing for me. We'll show you how I can do a cold and dark start with it. And I'm not necessarily doing the correct startup process. I'm just trying to show you how the Toby Ice 5 would work um, if you were doing this. So let's go over here. We're going to click on the battery. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to turn these all up. While I'm down here, I'm going to close that. Turn this on to operational and then turn this on to grounds. We'll look over on the left hand side. I just want to hit that OBOG switch, which is over here. I'm then going to hit on the APU and put it on the engine rank right. Um, these two engines, we'll just close the canopy, left control C. We'll turn these up while we can, the two formation lights. Makes it a little bit quieter. I haven't got a uh, throttle plugged in, but it won't matter for what we're trying to do here. So we'll just put up the throttle just a little bit so that will unlock. I'm just going to put that onto half. Now if I look up here, you can still zoom in, but I can just go switch that. Use my eyes, look over to the right hand side, can switch that up. Look down, can turn that up. I'm not moving my head at all here. I'm just looking around with my eyes. Look down here, I want to unplug that, click that, turn this up, and turn that on. Um, it works a lot better for me than Track IR5. And what is game changing about this is you do not have to wear anything on your head. So I've got nothing on my head at the moment. All I'm doing is looking at my computer screen. And just below it is the Toby i5 tracker, the sensor. And it's keeping an eye on my eyes and my head. So if you want to get up, grab something, come back to your computer, sit down, work straight away. Nothing to put on your head. Um, unlike Track IR5 or VR, which you have to put something on your head. And I find that is just incredible. So we're just going to go over to here. Um, we'll have a look through this FCS. We've got to set that up. So if we use my eyes to look down here, we can see. I can click reset, can click that, can look back up to the right, and I can see that's cleared. Um, we're pretty much set up at the moment to do a basic takeoff if I had to. So we're still waiting for this to align, of course. But we do have the engine started. We're just going to do the other engine. So we'll look over here and we'll switch it over to the left. We can check, of course, that that engine is started by looking down here if you're not sure. Um, we can take the handbrake off very, very soon. We can probably switch this over to nav or even in flight alignment would do. Is it ready? Yep, looks like it's ready. We'll switch this over. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just using my eyes to move around. How easy is that? And um, yeah, if you want to just do a cold and dark start in a plane with this, it can be done. And I find this a lot easier. Um, because it has head and eye, um, the whole process is very simple. Now to install this, this is basically the installed out-of-the-box setting. So I have not done any configuration. You can make it a lot more responsive than what you're seeing here now, as I have seen with other games. Um, and you can tune it to how you want. I'm just showing you what it's like out of the box, how you're going to see it if you get this and you just try it out. Now it's called the Toby Eye Tracker 5, and I definitely think um, it's worth considering. Now, will it work with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator? I have no idea. 
But how amazing would it be if they can get support for that into that game for this device? It would be fantastic. Um, I believe that Microsoft Flight Simulator is not coming with VR working out of the box. Um, but this is a good alternative if you don't want to use VR. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get this plane started. I don't think there's much else I need to do here. We've got our two engines started. And we've got a parking brake off. So if we just go and give ourselves a little bit of throttle. I'll see if I can do that. No, it's way too much. That's better. And the left engine's forward a little bit. Yep, they're good. And now our plane is moving. So we can see our plane coming out. And we can use our keys just to look around. Now we can just move our head around. We can see out the right wing. We can look on the left wing over there. So we can move our plane around with no problems. If I want to use my eyes to look around, still can just look down there. If I want to look down here, I can do. You can set up the zoom, especially on your throttle if you've got a warthog. Or you can use whatever you like depending on what devices you're using. But there's better buttons to use than your mouse wheel. But I'm just using the mouse wheel at the moment just to look in and out. So say I want to look over there, I can do so. I want to zoom in, I can quickly have a look. Look back here. You know, can look over to my left wing, check out what's going on. Keep an eye. It's very, very cool. So we'll do a takeoff. I probably won't do a landing in this video. I'm just really trying to show you um, the Toby i5 working in DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. If you think this is something that may interest you, please do check it out. Um, they had very awesome and quick delivery. And, uh, yeah. Um, the delivery process is easy, the purchase process is easy, the actual installation process is easy, and the actual product is amazing. Um, it attaches just to the bottom of your monitor, so it doesn't have to sit on top and fall off the monitor or anything like that. It just attaches to the bottom of it. Um, you can put it to something else if you want it to not attach it to your monitor. wouldn't be a problem, um, but it does come with some adapters which work basically with a magnet so if you don't want it there all the time you can just pull it away and then put it back on there with the magnet when you're ready to use it um, it's been well well thought out as far as the installation of it goes and I do find that it's a lot better sitting on the bottom of the monitor than sitting on the top of the monitor um, it's less of you know likely to fall off and it's just not in your way as far as uh, looking at your, your monitor or your screen. It works really responsively. Now this is um, not set up as I say, it's, this is just how it works out of the box. You can configure it so it will work much better than what you're seeing here for sure and I have certainly um, tested that with some other games already. So we're just going to come along here We'll line up and we'll just prove that we can get ourselves into the sky. I'm just doing this cold and dark start just with the joystick, keyboard and the mouse at the moment. And the Toby Eye Tracker 5, just to look around. It just makes the whole process of using this game so much more enjoyable. Um, and I don't feel like when I had to use Track Eye 5, I was constantly having to change between using the track IR and switching back to mouse look around. At the moment, this entire video, I have not used mouse look around at all. So, and when we're in the cockpit, um, admittedly, when you jump to the external view, I've got to use mouse look around, which is fine for that purpose. But when I'm in the cockpit here, there is no mouse look around. This is just me using my head and my eyes to look around inside the inside of the cockpit. And often, it's very difficult to get it set with track i5 so you can look back in these corners and with this it's just a breeze I mean you know I can see my wing there we can look back over to the other right side and we keep looking back and then there we can see the wing and we can keep looking and we can see all the way back there so you know you've got a very good ability to um, look around with this it's certainly more than adequate I think if you want to look up no problem you know I mean how far do you want to look up <laughs> So, yeah, 
Very, very, very cool. So let's just prove we can get this plane to the sky. Now again, I haven't got a throttle installed. I'm just doing this video just to show you guys quickly. All I've got is a joystick, so I'm just going to give it a bit of throttle and we'll get ourselves up into the sky just to show that you can do a takeoff with the Toby Eye Tracker 5 in DCS and it is working. If you do find this video useful, do feel free to subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate all the subscriptions I do get. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to cover Microsoft Flight Simulator in more detail as soon as it releases. I have not wanted to make hundreds of videos on that game until it is actually released. And we can actually show you something that's worthwhile uh, rather than just promo trailers. There's plenty of people showing the promo trailers. I do not need to add to that. But if you want to know the launch date, um, that is certainly available on my channel straight away. You can see in my list of videos. I did want to make at least, you know, obvious that I am going to be covering that game when it releases. But at this stage, we're just waiting for it to release. So as you can see, we're taking off. If I just want to look over my right wing, just with my eyes, I can see out the right wing, just using my eyes. So yeah, then I want to look off the left wing. Let's just use my eyes to look off the left wing. And keep looking back, keep looking back, and we can see the left wing can come back to the centre pretty quickly. And there you go. So yeah, this is very, very cool. Highly recommend checking out the Toby Eye Tracker 5. Of course, I can always do the sweeping views of the plane from the outside. We haven't used a lot of throttle to take off then. This wasn't the correct procedure, of course, for the cold and dark start. We know that. I'm just trying to show off the Toby Eye Tracker 5. That's all we're trying to do here. And, of course, I am in the sky, so it wasn't a total failure. We are able to do at least that, you know, with it. So, if I just want to look down there, I can do that. I can look over here. What I imagine this would be really amazing with is the helicopters. If you wanted to look around while using the helicopter. I'd imagine that those folks would find this just fantastic. Toby Eye Tracker 5 with a helicopter. Oh yeah, that would be very, very cool. Um, you want to land on the aircraft carrier and you're trying to swing around, you keep an eye on the aircraft carrier, look back, keep an eye on the aircraft carrier, look back, you know, as you're doing your um, landing. I can definitely see this being useful for that as well. So, yeah, I hope you found this um, entertaining. If you have not heard of the Toby Eye Tracker 5, um, hopefully now you know it is an option. I will leave a link in the description to where you can actually purchase it. And um, hopefully more people will cover the Toby Eye Tracker 5 because I think it deserves more recognition than what it's getting. A lot of people are covering uh, Track IR 5 and this is a competitor to certainly Track IR 5 and is a lot simpler to set up. So yes, Toby Eye Tracker 5 gets a big thumbs up from me. Um, it is game changing for me in terms of wanting to use it over any other option. Um, if I had to learn a plane, I would much rather use this now than anything else. Just simply because I do not have to wear anything on my head. I've got all the advantages of using my eyes and my head to look around, but I do not have to put anything physically on top of my head. I hope you guys are enjoying um, the game and um, do keep in mind this works in the IL2 Stermovic as well. I have tested it, it works in IL2 Stermovic so, and also a whole bunch of other games. This is um, not the only options. It will work in American Truck Simulator, it will work in Euro Truck Simulator so if you do play those games um, definitely check it out as well. Um, it is very very good in that. So yes, Toby Eye Tracker 5, just my quick video. I think I've covered as much as I can and um, just demonstrated that you can get into the sky of it. Thank you for watching.